Hi guys, we're on a roll tonight for New Music Friday. I just reacted to a Beartooth song, which is a solid 7 out of 10. Um, lyrically, I just read the lyrics uh, after I record the video. And um, still definitely will give it a 7 out of 10. We also have the new Era album, which I'm going to try to react to. I don't know, or at least record some videos here, because I'm so stoked to listen to it. And... We have a new Pop Evil song. I think there's other something else, but um, I know I've been missing out on some of these other songs that dropped. You know, like North Lane, Born of Osiris. Um, I think that's a new Justin Bieber album. What the hell? I thought he just released something. Well, obviously we're not going to react to that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I already listened to those other songs I mentioned, and... Um, definitely think that they are all freaking amazing so i'm looking at my itunes wise record at the same time oh we have a brand new um greatest hits volume 2 compilation from papa roach wow they've been around for that long can you imagine that i don't know how many new songs there are but i did re react to um one of their songs a couple weeks back called broken as me now without further ado I don't really have any physical attachment to Pop Evil or anything. Other than I really like the new songs. I really like the direction they're going in with Breathe Again. Freaking amazing. Um, just like the production. And speaking of production, I should have mentioned in the Beartooth song that it's kind of lacking. Not enough, not enough oomph for whatever reason. But um, let's hope that you know Pop Evil kind of steers into that same direction that I was talking about with Breathe Again and um, you know as, as weird and different as work was I really do appreciate that song and you know the video was pretty interesting and you know I can relate to it because all I do is freaking work literally um, and then <sighs> Kill Me because the other song wasn't bad either uh, I forgot the name but there was another song too I didn't even know about but until recently um, this one's called Set Me Free Let's Go Oh, by the way, hmm. oh, nice. Nice. Like that transition.
Let me stop it right there, and I know they're going to get into the last chorus here, just to avoid copyright issues if that happens. Um, Pop Evil, like I said, um, not a band who I have necessarily enjoyed too much, like even on their early material. I know they're mainly known for their hit 155, which it's not a bad song. Um, it's definitely just like a just a typical hard, I don't know, I wouldn't even say hard, but uh, I guess post grunge song. In vain, in the vein of like Shine Down and Theory of a Dead Man and stuff like that. Um, so, like I said, this direction that they're going in, the song sounds like it's tuned to drop A sharp, I want to say, just like with Waking Lions, which I wish they had more songs like that in the last album. So, now that we have four singles off this album, now let's see if they announced the album yet, because I've just been freaking waiting, dude. Um, nice, finally, Versatile will be out May 21st, 2021, let's go, yes baby, I've been waiting to do it because, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like, as someone who's just getting older and older and older, um, as a metalcore dude, um, I do want to say that yes, I love metalcore still, so no, I haven't sold out, but at the same time, I do want to hear just kind of something that's breaking the mold is pop able doing that per se i wouldn't say that but they're in the step in the right direction i think that they could become a burn me the horizon or a north lane you know north lane's doing crazy shit with their new stuff here um so they're dabbling into this electronic stuff they're also dabbling into low tune guitars um but Obviously, every band's doing low tune guitars, but if you're gonna do that nowadays, you should really throw in some nuance, crazy nuances to stand out in the pack. So, architects, take note. Sorry. By the way, guys, sorry if this looks silly. It's just convenient for me. Um. So, yeah, so far, definitely digging the song. Um, we're gonna finish up though, because there's not much longer to go. I almost want to say that's in drop E. I know I said drop A sharp. I get those two tunes mixed up sometimes. Oh no, don't, don't play the new era. <laughs> not yet, not yet. We, we're going to get to you guys soon, don't worry. Oh boy, I'm going to have to start reading the comments and stuff. You guys are going to see me being like, eh, eh, eh. but. Um, this new Pop Evil, though, um, in comparison to the other singles better than work better than um the other single i don't know why i can't think of the freaking name um i would probably say it's um kind of on the same level as breathe again in all honesty uh replayability factor i don't know it's kind of too soon to say but i dug it i really dug it i'm gonna take this off now um it's got Again, you know, for Pop Evil, they got nothing too complicated going for them. But just, again, the little nuances. Tune in your guitar a little bit low for the hard rock scene is not going to fucking hurt you, you know? Bands like Seether, bands like Shine Down, bands like Theory of Dead Man, bands like Disturbed. Actually, Disturbed goes to Drop I think, but it's not insanely low. So, I'm just saying, like, Pop Evil, like, they're going down to, like, Drop G Sharp on Breathe Again. <laughs> And I'm really hoping there's more songs like that too. Uh, work, I think, is also in that tune in. Um, the other song, ugh, it's gonna kill me. I think it's in the same tune as this one. But the fact that all four of these songs so far are in that these drop tunings and they're not in like freaking drop D, like they've been doing, it's just a freaking sigh of relief. It's just 
I don't want to keep hearing these post grunge bands just churn out the same fucking albums over and over again. Just like I don't want to hear the same Elcor bands churn out the same albums over and over again. So that's the thing. It's kind of like one of those things where you do things in moderation, even in the music industry, you know? No, I'm not telling you guys to freaking change your album every time, like Bring Me The Horizon does, but that's how they're successful, though. So you kind of have to take note in those sort of situations. Again, I'm not in a band or anything. This is just what I see, you know, as a fan. And, um, <clears throat> again, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, oh, like, they're the best fucking band on the planet right now. I just think people should pay attention, you know, in the metalcore scene especially, because I think they're going to take over at some point. And, you know, bands like Papa Roach... I mean, they're big, but I'm just saying, like, I can't think of examples. Maybe, like, let's just say, like, a small band, like, Nonpoint or um, P.O.D., Mushroomhead, um, whatever. Like, those types of bands, they might go under, you know what I'm saying? So those guys were big at some point in their careers, but nowadays it's just, like, nobody talks about them. It's kind of just, like, a nostalgic thing. So that's when Pop Evil um, slashes down the doors and, you know, they become like the big fucking wolf of the pack. That's it. That's all I'm trying to say, you know, and they're probably going to step on Theory. They're going to step on some older bands. So, again, very solid song. I think this is better than the new Beartooth song, to be honest, and I'm wearing the Beartooth tee here. Um, this gets a 8 out of 10, I think. Definitely deserves it. Um, again, not an amazing song, but I do think it deserves an 8 out of 10. Like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out um, when I record the new Error Reaction videos. See you next time.